What's good everybody? My name is Tyler Chevy. I'm here to review the Adidas Gazelle ADV. All right, overall construction of the shoe, vulcanized build. It's got the hex flex sole, which is very grippy. I like it so far. And then you got the Addy Tough underneath the suede. So after you blow through that, you got some rubber to go through as well. Keep it rolling. So the shoe's pretty light overall, which I like. It's not quad hopping around your foot. The tongue does not have any bands to keep you in, but honestly, it doesn't really move around that much. Insole as well. Let me pop this baby out. This is the Addy Preen insole. It's pretty thin. It's got a little cush. Doesn't feel too bad. The shoe overall is pretty thin, so if you like to jump down stuff, it's not necessarily the best. Maybe get another insole for there. Dr. Scholl's footprint, anything will run. But also, if you don't like high impact stuff, 10 stairs, handrails, triple kinks, and you're a manual guy like me, this shoe is very nice. It's very nice on your foot. You can get tech, you can flick stuff, feels good, got a nice bend. Another thing I like is that the heel cup, it's got these pads on the inner side. So when you put it on, it kind of sucks your heel in. So when you bend up on your toe, you don't feel that heel gap, which is really nice because nobody likes sloppy shoes. Uh, when I tried on the first one, I usually wear nine and a halfs. So they're running pretty big. I tried the nine, still a little big. Went to the eight and a half, which is super rare for me. And they're a little tight, but I kind of like that because stretch them out a little bit and they're just like nice and formed to your foot. So it's feeling pretty good after 20, 30 minutes of skating. After session one, just a little scuff on the toe and we're looking pretty good. I'll keep skating it for a couple more weeks and come back to you guys with more input. What's up everybody, I'm back with the update. It's been about three weeks. I really like the shoe. A few things that I wanna point out. Uh, first thing, no ripped laces, which is really nice. I tend to rip my laces on pretty much every single shoe. Uh, another thing is the Ollie pad. I definitely blow that out on every single shoe. The stripe took me about a couple days to blow through, but you got all this Addy Tough underneath and the Ollie pad still holding strong. I purposely didn't shoe goo it to see how long it would last. We got the threading on the toe. It's starting to come undone a little bit, but it hasn't started to split. The shoe has held its form very nicely. It doesn't feel just like a piece of cloth over your toes or anything like that. Uh, as far as the tread goes, it's held in pretty nicely. I definitely like to stop with my heels and I'll blow those out, but it's pretty much like nothing ever happened, dude. Three weeks in, it's pretty chill. The shoe doesn't have very much breathability in there. I get super sweaty feet. Doesn't really have any like extra eyelet holes or anything on the side like that. As far as the sole goes, it's not the best. The heel is kind of packed out. The front kind of stayed true. Um, doesn't provide very much impact protection. I don't jump down stuff very often, but it hurts. All right, so with this shoe, I went down a full size, which was honestly a little too much for me, but I kind of stretched it out after a couple days. It did hurt my toes. I would definitely recommend going down a half size, unless you like your stuff really snug, then don't go the full size. Once again, this is Tyler Chevy reviewing the Adidas Gazelle ADV. If you guys got any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the box below, or you can go check them out yourself in store at Tactics.